Hi, how are you going? Um, I'm John Luca, the Production Logistics Manager at Centac here, and uh, today we'll be discussing the all-in-one um, soil moisture probe. Now, this, the Centac so, uh, all-in-one is a, a, a DTU cap which is designed to integrate um, with the EnviroScan uh, soil moisture probe. Um, inside this cap, there's a modem, Bluetooth, and a battery, which um, um, basic, which pretty much turns it into an integrated um, data transmission unit, so an all-in-one soil moisture probe. The reason for uh, us developing the all-in-one, um, as you can see, it's actually integrated, it's cable-free, apart from the antenna. It's uh, very easy to install. There's no wiring, there's no cables, um, uh, and it has an internal battery, so, um, you know, gone are the days that your cables are chewed, by, chewed out by vermin, causing um, the, your unit to fail and stop logging data. As this is all integrated together, the power is internal, so unless um, there is actual physical damage to the plastic, um, it will continue working. Um, the all-in-one is available in GPRS, NextG or 3G, um, CDMA for North, the North American customers using the Verizon network, and also for satellite, um, the Iridium satellite network system. Um, it's also compatible with our moisture, our tri-scan and our new temperature humidity sensors. Now what we're showing here is the uh, GPRS or 3G NextG modem, um, the CDMA Verizon and also the Iridium satellite um, all-in-one DTU plastic so you can actually see the difference between the three. You'll actually receive something like this if you've purchased a fully built normalised probe. Um, this one here is a, is a one metre probe, it's also available in half metre and one and a half metres. Um, so when you remove the cap you can actually see there's a bayonet style connection. Basically you grab it, rotate it so that it unlocks and pull it straight up. And then slowly extract the soil moisture probe. So what you'll see when you first pull it out, you'll actually see a high capacity lithium battery pack. Um, there's a uh, magnetic reed switch for activating the Bluetooth device. And on the other side, you'll see a modem and a Bluetooth board. Um, the modems are designed to uh, mount on the carrier. So this one here is actually a CDMA uh, Verizon uh, modem. Um, now all this is carried on a plastic carrier place, plate, plastic uh, holder, um, which has been custom designed to hold all these com this componentry as well as the different modems. And it's actually screwed into the probe handle so that it doesn't disconnect by the two screws on either side and then that mounts and connects onto our standard 232 interface on our standard um, EnviroScan probe handle. Okay, as I mentioned before, um, it is a mod modularised system, so here is a standard uh, RS-232 um, EnviroScan probe with the probe handle that you can see, and here's the all-in-one. So as you can see, there's a Green Phoenix connector on the inside here, which mates with our standard RS-232 interface on our EnviroScan. Um, as you can see here, there's actually a void um, which is designed to locate on the handle. So if you do try to plug it in the wrong way, it won't actually work. So there's only one way of connecting it. And as you can see, once that goes in place, that's uh, completely electrically connected. But it's actually very easy to connect, so it actually makes upgrading solos uh, very, very simple. Okay, now what we're going to go through is the uh, antenna options for the all-in-one and compact DTU. There's a watertight IP68 um, connector coming out the top if you bought the external connector option. Um, and when you unscrew that, you will see that there's an SMA uh, style um, connector inside there. Now, the uh, reason for using this is it is watertight, so we don't want any chance of any water ingress in the probe. This allows you to have uh, multiple antenna options. So, first one is the 3dB external antenna. Uh, now this antenna is designed with a mating IP68 rated um, connection which allows a watertight connection to the, um, to the connector on the top of the cap. So when, when finished you'll end up with a watertight connection with a 3dB antenna coming out the top of the all-in-one or compact DTU. Um, alternatively in uh, lower signal strength areas we do offer a 7dB external antenna kit. Um, this is a 7 dB whip antenna as previously used in the plus and multi systems and it comes with 4 metres of low loss coaxial cable and the one thing you do notice is it will have, it's got a mating IP68 rated connector which mounts onto the top of the all-in-one and compact in the same fashion. So this actually screws onto the top of the cap giving you a watertight connection 
ensuring there's no water ingress into the probe. Just make sure it's uh, screwed on tight. Um, with this, you now have four metres to relocate your antenna to higher uh, ground or um, to a different area where you can obtain signal strengths. This does come with a 90 degree mounting um, bracket.